And I went to Brookline. And then I was only there until about second grade. And then we moved to the South Hills, which was Bethel Park. And I went to Bethel Park High School from second grade to graduation. The one main thing I did was Bethel Park Bethettes, which was the drill team for the marching band. I was co-captain of that team. And we went to Disney World and we won the grand championship for that. When I was looking for where I wanted to go to college, my brother went to Slip Rock University and we've always had that close family relationship. So since he was at Slipper Rock, that's where I wanted to go. So I was gonna go to be a math teacher. But after like a year of doing that, I knew that wasn't for me. I knew it just wasn't the right fit. Actually, the, the one professor that made me want to change. Uh, when I was like doing my search, looking around, I just immediately had that connection with her. My senior year, you have to do an internship. So junior year is when you start looking for one. She had, had already had a connection with the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival and she knew the director, you know, one-on-one -on -one and knew that my personality would mesh well with hers. So she recommended that I look into doing the internship with her as the festival coordinator. And I would say working for Phantom Jeep, because they're out of Butler, and going to the office and being in that area, I liked the small town feel that that had. After my internship, I continued to work with the same, under the same person. She actually got me a job at the Savvy Marketing Group in downtown Pittsburgh, but I quickly found a hatred for the city driving um, and just the type of job itself too. When my uh, supervisor at, at Savvy found out that uh, the hotels in Grove City were hiring and she knew Stacy personally, who was the director of sales there, why not give it a try? Because she knew, she, she knew my personality would mesh well in the hospitality industry. The sitting at a desk nine to five just wasn't what I was meant to be doing. I was meant to be helping people and that's exactly what I was doing at the festival was making a difference and helping others. So going backwards to the office was just not the right fit. Since I grew up city girl, city life, my husband, his family has a farm so he had that farming background and just the love for the wilderness like fishing, hunting. And then when I got the job in Grove City, PA, we were like, okay, well, let's look between here and Butler, because Butler is where he works. The change in the cost of living was significant. And that was a no-brainer for us, because we wanted to get a house immediately. Like, we didn't want to have to, like, stay in our parents' house and save. Like, we wanted to make that move. I very strongly believe in the Penn Northwest Homegrown Initiative, because I want people to understand that they don't have to go away from home to find a job or you know to make good money in college I was always told oh you have to go to Pittsburgh you have to go to the big cities to be able to succeed and that's far from the truth <laughs> well, when you go to a, a big city you become just a number but here like you're not a number like like I'm Kaylee I'm not just one of thousands like this whole initiative is about helping high school kids and even college kids succeed and not only succeed but succeed he succeed here i want to make that difference on somebody just how my supervisors made a difference on me i just want to i, I want to be the reason that somebody stays in mercer county i'm going to be starting a family here in less than a month and i couldn't imagine a better place for my, my son to grow up <laughs>